Okay, so now um, I'm just gonna do a video about the new release of Apple Pie OS. So this this will be version 1.4. Um, yeah, so um, I'll just go over what I've updated. There was like a App Store icon here that didn't work, so um, I just took that away. And there was a Snap Store before, but there was a problem with it. But now it has been fixed. So you. Um, it opens up like this as you see and if I just go and I want to enter install something from entertainment um, So I can go and install um, Wisdom I don't know what it is, but I'll just install it And then you type in your password which the default password is Apple pie OS and As you see it's installing so um, Snap Store does work on this version, so that's an improvement. Um, and then I still can't get RetroPie working, so RetroPie has some um, thing to do, and it only wants to work on Raspberry Pi OS. So I'm still going to be working on that. So for you guys who like emulation, I did install RetroArch, so um, you can play most of your emulation games and stuff from RetroArch. I have tested it and it does work, as you see. Um, on the Snap Store, it's as you see, it's is installing it, so it's done. So, just to show that it did work. Oh, I don't know, but um. Um, yeah, and then some other stuff is, um, there was the imager on version 1.3, and then, um, there's an updated readme. So... As you see, version 1.4, and it says has all the stuff you need to know, you, you need to know here. And I want to thank um, Pitseb and PyLabs for Vo Box 86. So I did include Box 86 for the people who want to have um, X86 emulation. And when the wine on Box 86 becomes stable, stable, um, I will be adding it in here. But because it's not stable yet, I haven't added it yet. But a big thanks to them for that, and thanks for the PSP video for re re reviewing version 1.2 and ETA Prime for reviewing it too. Um, and please join our Discord server so you can um, get all the updates before my videos or ask any questions about that. Um, and then I just, there's some more software, and we just fixed more bugs because... Uh, um, it wasn't in an early stage, and there was lots of bugs, but um, they have a lot of them have been fixed. Like we added VLC to watch your movies, and we did add um, GIMP, so you can add, edit your photos and do all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, and so. Uh, so you don't have to go and re-download it um, like if you're on version 1.3 and you want to go over to version 1.4 I did make a patch um, So I'll show how to inst how you can install this patch So you there's a Google Drive link in the description just go to that and um, Go to the patch and download it mine's in my downloads folder. It's a zip just click on it and then just go extract and I'm going to extract it to my downloads folder. And, I, and then you go close. But if you downloaded version 1.4, you don't need to do this patch. This is only if you're on version 1.3 right now. So then you just open the terminal. And you type CD. And then with the big D, downloads. And then what you're going to type is chmod. This will be in the description, so you can just copy it from there if it's easier for you. Plus X, and then you just look at what it's called. Version 1.4 patch. Version 
1.4.sh is what um, this doc this thing is called which we're makes making it executable now so now you just hit enter and what you're gonna do now is you take this sh file just drag it into your terminal then all you do is you hit enter and it will install everything for you you might have to hit y a few times like to um enable the software to be installed but this patch will take a while because it is installing box 86 for you and box 86 does um take a while to build and install and all of that so i'm not going to do that because this already is version 1.4 and if i do that it is going to reboot so at the end of the patch it does reboot your system and it comes back with um it updates your readme and it adds all the gimp and fixes the snap store installs retroarch and box 86 so there are um some nice fixes in it um yeah so that's this is pretty much it for version 1.4 um if you have any questions please ask in the comments or on my discord server and um, yeah, so I hope you guys like Apple Pie OS, and, um, yeah, I hope you use it. Mm, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, please like this video, and please subscribe.